Hello, my name is Kurt Rasmussen. I'm going to show you part two of a three-part series of MicroStation and Google Earth. Today's part will cover importing a Google Earth image. In our previous series, we covered importing a coordinate system. We are already set to the Pennsylvania NAD83 coordinate system. The next icon I want to point out is Capture Google Earth Image. The first thing we want to do is switch to Google Earth and we want to find the area that we are working with and zoom to that location. It will matter how much you zoom in for how much data is going to be brought back to MicroStation. We hit Capture. Always read the lower left corner of your screen. It says enter the data point to capture the Google Earth view. I click my view. As we see here it comes in in a wireframe mode. This really is the tin that we're looking at. What I'm going to do is show you how to view the image that's actually attached to that. It's a material draped on that surface. If we change our view display, the display style, to a smooth you will see here that we can see the image that was brought in. If we were to rotate this image, you will see here that it is draped across the surface in a 3D fashion. Next I will show you how to view this while still using a wireframe mode but still being able to see this in a render mode. I will open a file that we're going to use for our this is a file we will be using for our line work. We could see here as we draw our shapes that they are not filled in. If I would go to a smooth mode they will become solid fills. We want to work in a wireframe mode and we want to attach our aerial image file, the Google Earth. I don't care about the settings here. We see here we're in a wireframe. If I would flip this to a smooth mode, we see my line work also gets filled in. Text would look funny. Uh, it would be a little hard to work with line drawings in a smooth unless you're doing 3D modeling. I'm going to flip back to our wireframe mode which we want to work with but I will go to my reference file and we could right click here and make sure that presentation is turned on. I see my presentation is set to wireframe. If I would click on this the display style is coming from my parent file which is wireframe. I will set this to smooth and choose OK. This now allows my active view to be in a wireframe mode but still allows the image to be in a smooth rendered mode. This will allow us to attach references and view the aerial images but still be able to work in a wireframe mode. This concludes part two of my three part series. The next part will explain how to make this black and white image in a color. Thank you.